Hello. Today we're going to learn how to convert your Crystal Fire Plus burner from propane to natural gas. For purposes of this video, we are going to focus on the Crystal Fire Plus burner that uses the variable control safety valve. This can be identified by the valve and electrode system as shown here. All outdoor great room company burners are UL tested and approved for safety when installed and operated in accordance with the instructions. Consult a certified plumber if you are unqualified or feel uncertain in how to perform this burner conversion. Thank you for assuring our products are installed and operated in a safe manner. To complete this conversion, you will need the following tools. Two open-ended wrenches, a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and some leak detection fluid. You will also need the instruction manual and the appropriate orifices that came shipped with your burner. Within the packaging of all burners, you will find one large natural gas burner orifice that looks like this. If you have a CFP20 burner or CFP1224, you'll also need to replace the small valve orifice with a natural gas valve orifice that looks like this. Any burner larger than the CFP20 or CFP1224 will require the large burner orifice to be replaced, and instead of replacing the valve orifice, you'll simply remove the existing valve orifice. It will be easiest to convert your burner before it is actually installed as you can place it on a bench to more easily see and access all the components. To get started, with the flat blade screwdriver, remove the valve orifice and if necessary, replace with the natural gas valve orifice. If no valve orifice is required, Set the removed orifice aside and reconnect the bypass tube using the 11 millimeter wrench. Remember, you'll only need to replace the valve orifice with burners equivalent or smaller than the 20 inch round and 12 by 24 inch linear burners. All larger burners simply require you to remove the LP valve orifice and reattach the bypass tube. Using the two adjustable wrenches, remove the burner flex line from the burner orifice. Remove the propane burner orifice installed on the burner and install the supplied natural gas orifice that was shipped with your burner and specified in the manual. Loosen the air shutter with a Phillips head screwdriver and close the air shutter to 1 16th inch gap as shown here. Retighten the Phillips screw when the air shutter is in its proper position. Using the two adjustable wrenches, reconnect the burner flex line to the natural gas burner orifice and tighten securely. This completes the conversion of your Crystal Fire Plus burner from propane to natural gas. Now follow the instructions to install your burner and controls into the fire pit and fire table. As part of this installation process, you should check all fittings including those you just worked on for gas leaks using a gas sniffer or gas leak solution. One last tip, when connecting your natural gas line to the burner valve, we recommend using a noise reducing flex. As you can see from this image, the noise reducing flex has coils that are staggered to break up the harmonics as gas flows through this line. Failing to use a noise reducing flex can result in a loud and annoying whistle while the burner is in operation. From all of us at the Outdoor Great Room Company, thank you for following along to assure this conversion is done accurately and safely.